Okay, so you've determined your company is going to research a new call center solution or contact center solution if you want to use the, the latest and greatest terms. But there's a lot of different vendors out there for contact center and especially cloud contact center, which I'm sure if you're researching contact center solutions, you're looking at cloud contact center solutions since that's where the marketplace is headed. There are a ton of vendors out there, so how do you differentiate them? How do you decide which vendors to look at? I'm gonna tell you five quick things that are gonna really narrow down the amount of vendors that you wanna look at. So number one is what countries is your company's contact center in? Are you only in the United States or do you have some global locations? Well, that's gonna really change the different vendors that you look at. Some vendors have local phone numbers available in certain countries and others don't. Some vendors have local voice gateways in certain countries and others don't. If you wanna know what those things are, let you know. give me a call, shoot me an email after this and I'm happy to explain it in more detail. So first and foremost, what countries are you in? Second is something called workforce management. Does your company need to manage your contact center's workforce better? Meaning that, do you want continual real-time help from your contact center software telling you how to better staff your organization's contact center? For instance, it will tell you some of these contact center solutions have the ability to give you estimates on how many agents you need at certain times of the day based on call volume and based on agent performance, call duration, things like that. So it's an extra benefit that some of the contact center solutions have, but some contact center solutions don't have that. So if that's a feature that you're interested in, make sure you know that up front and ask the vendors up front if they offer that. Another big one is a dialer. Does your company need a dialer solution? Because not all contact center solutions offer that. Fourth is out of the box software integration. So is there a certain CRM that your company really wants to integrate with your contact center solution or any other type of software like ERP software? If there is, it's a heck of a lot less expensive if the contact center provider offers an out of the box integration with that software right out of the gate as opposed to having to custom build it. So you might wanna ask that upfront before you get into several hours of meetings and discover that later. Finally, the last thing you want to consider is the infrastructure of your contact center solution. Is your cloud contact center solution running out of a single data center? or is it streaming out of multiple data centers at the same time? Are they, are they using a cloud infrastructure vendor like AWS to run their software or are they doing it in-house? That's a big deal because if, you, if your business relies on your contact center and it, and it has to be up and running 24 seven, you wanna make sure the infrastructure of your contact center provider is not gonna go down. And trust me, there are big differences between the infrastructure of these different companies. Some of them you're gonna pay for as well. If you want to make sure you never go down, it might be a little bit more expensive to go with a provider who has a more robust infrastructure than maybe a contact center provider who's less expensive, but running one stream out of one data center that they own and operate. So that's the last thing you wanna consider. I hope that helps a little bit. If you have any questions, there are a ton of other things when it comes to Cloud Contact Center that you, could, that you should think about, but it's just too many for one video. So please reach out, ask me some questions. I'm happy to give you my recommendations.